right, let's start kneeling. Settle into your seat on your knees. Feel your breath. Slowly start to slide forward and just drop down into a child's pose. Resting and letting your forehead settle. Feel free to take your hands behind your head into a prayer and hang out here for a little bit. Slowly come up, back to kneeling, hands behind you. Support your low back, elbows back and lift your chest, breathe in. And then exhale, collapse, round your spine and reach your arms forward, scooping and then pulling back, arms out by your side. And then exhale, pulling forward. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, reach forward, sweep it to the front. And then now inhale, sweep it back. And then exhale, sweep it forward, scooping the chest back. And then inhale, lift the heart again. And exhale, dive into child's pose. You can roll a little forward onto hands and knees here. Take a deep breath in, cat stretch. Open up your upper back, mid back, breathe in. And then exhale, you can dive, let it sink a bit, look forward, let your low back rest. You don't have to go super deep yet, it's pretty early in the session, so keep it nice and easy. Nice neutral spine, take a deep breath in, reach the right hand to the hip, and just gently open up your chest. We're not going to extend the arm all the way up right now because this is just a simple early morning practice. Open up the chest, nice and easy, switch to the left. And then exhale, bring it back down to child's pose onto your forearms, curl your toes under. And start to kind of feel this in your spine and then maybe you can lift up a little bit into a dolphin. But don't go super deep, just pedal out your heels and your knees. And instead to focus on opening up your calves and your hips here. You can bring it back down, pop back up onto your knees, support your low back with your hands, and then support your low back and lift your chest again, open up the spine. Again, we don't have to go super deep here in the back bend, just enough to extend, and then come back down, step forward with your right leg wide to the outsides of your hands, let your hip open up nice and easily here. You can give it a little twist, right hand to your thigh or your knee, and then slowly bring it back down, step back, or sweep it back, and then sink back into child's, and then palm it back, and then exhale, swing your left leg forward to the outside of your hands. So left foot to the outside of your left hand, holding it here, letting the hip open up. Take a deep breath in, pull your shoulders back, Give it a little twist, bring your left hand to your thigh. Open up the chest, open up the shoulders. Slowly bring it back down. And then sweep it back again. Push back into child's pose. Take a deep breath in, hands down by your side. Reach it back behind you, interlace your fingers, pull your shoulders back nice and easy. So you don't have to go super deep in this either. Again, you're still pretty cold and tight. So just notice how that feels. Feel your elbows stretch out, feel your neck open up. And then if you feel pretty good here, you can roll onto your head. But don't go too deep here either. Just a little gentle roll to just check in, just notice. Slowly come back, roll up onto your knees, grab the front of your neck, Inhale, lean back, open up the throat, opening up the front of the neck and chest. Now lean over to the left, reach the right arm up to the sky and reach over and then switch. Drop your right hand, reach the left arm over to the side, deep breath in, side body stretch. And then reach forward again, scoop your chest, pull the belly button in, collapse your spine and then come back to center and then pull the shoulders back, support your low back and open up the chest again. And then from here, dive forward again into child's pose, slide it through. Rock side to side, 
inhale, slide through, baby cobra. Elbows tuck, shoulders back. Just a gentle lift here. Shoulders back. And then whenever you're ready, arms reach back, interlace your fingers, extend your arms again. And again, try to open up your shoulders, extend the spine. Press your forehead down to the floor so you can elongate your neck and your traps. Reaching back, deep breath in. Let your hands go. Reach the arms up in front of you and then slide it back as you press into the floor for a little Superman. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, push the hands down into the floor and pull down like a lap, pull down, gliding on the floor. Lift your chest and relax. Relax. Hands down by your side, by your chest. Push back, child's pose. Shift forward, bring the right foot forward into pigeon. Nice and easy here, do what feels good. Slowly come down and just hang out for a second. Place your hands behind your head, massage your neck, give a little stretch here. That's what I'm doing here. Because I noticed while I was in pigeon that my neck was feeling tight. So I'm going to open up my neck a little bit, stretch my neck, give myself a massage. I'm going to clasp the outsides of my neck with my hands. And then I'm going to come out of that and relax again in pigeon. Slowly come back up. Give it a little rock side to side, twist side to side, look right, left. And then push back, child's pose. Take a deep breath in here again. Exhale, and then pump that left leg forward, scoop it up, sweep it up, pigeon on the left. Again, make your way down, adjust a little bit, open up the spine, extend everything, deep breath in. And then whenever you're ready from there, you can slowly make your way down if it feels good, or you can stay up top. Take your time. Breathing deeply, focus on your breath. Let everything go. Let yourself fall in and release yourself into the floor. Again, you can massage your neck, stretch your neck. Anything that comes up. You can see I start to get a little restless on this side. My left side is a little bit tighter here. Quad stretch, grab your right leg, resting on your belly. Let your thigh and hip press into the floor and relax here. Now, if for some reason you don't like the way this feels, or it's too intense, or you're pregnant and you have a belly, a baby bump, you can always take a variation of this. You can roll onto your side instead and hang out here and do a sideline quad stretch. And support your head with your opposite hand, as you can see here. 
or you can just rest on your head, you can rest on your arm. So do what feels good here. I'm gonna finish this up on my belly. There goes my neck again. I'm just gonna give it a little, a little massage. It's talking to me this morning. I'm gonna give it a little jiggle before I let it go because my knee, I just want to be mindful. I'm going to slowly release it. And then I'm going to switch. I'm going to grab my left leg. Grab my left foot. Make sure your knees are together. And then press the thigh and hip to the floor. Breathe in deeply and relax. Let the shoulder, chest, abs press into the floor. Again, if you would rather do a sideline version, because it's really tight here, or because you have a belly bump, or because you just like the sideline stretch better, it's a personal preference, you can always roll onto your side instead. You can rest on your head, you can prop up on your form, you can rest your head on your hand while you're here, or you can just come right back down. Hanging out here for a couple more breaths. I'm going to finish this up on my belly. Breathing deeply. I'm going to slowly let go, support my hip, and really mindfully bring that foot back down because my knee. And I'm going to slowly press up onto my forearms like a little baby sphinx pose. So I'm jiggling my way up to find a good posture here. I stretch and then I pull it back. All right. Let's push back into child's pose and then you can reach side to side here to open up your lats, reach your right arm to the left, reach your left arm to the right, and then settle into child's pose again. Hang out here for a second. All right, so let's slowly pop back up onto your knees, support your low back here. Wiggle your shoulders, roll them back, right? So you can really feel what's happening here. Open up your arms up to the sky, extend, and then dive forward onto the floor. Reach your arms back up to the sky, extend, and then flip your arms down and take your arms behind you and roll forward onto your head. Open up the shoulders and then exhale, scoop forward, reach up to the sky, extend your spine, and then bring it forward. All right, this time extend your legs out in front of you. Let's come down to our seat. Let's start to shut this down. All right, pull your shoulders back behind you, hands behind your back, lift the heart, and then reach the arms up, and then forward fold. And then you're gonna roll back, roll up, arms up, and then you're going to roll forward, and you're gonna make a little circle movement here, a circular hamstring stretch. So you're gonna elongate the spine up, and then circle forward, and then circle back up to elongate your spine, and then exhale forward. Now the reason why I did this was because I noticed when I went right into the hamstring stretch, it, feel, it felt a little too tight in the beginning, so I felt like I needed to move into circles first to kind of work it in. So now I, rever I reverse that circle. So now I reach up and then I come down through my chest and then I scoop forward and then I reach up and then come back and then reach my arms behind me, place my fingertips on the floor and then pull my shoulders back and lift the heart. So just trying to open up the spine and chest at the same time. All right, hands in front and open up T twist to the right. That was feeling really stiff so I didn't go all the way. Reach forward and then a little T-twist to the left, a little baby T-twist, nothing too serious. Reach forward again, T, and then a little twist to the right again. You can do a T-twist here if you'd like. I went ahead and just did a little baby twist here. I lifted up my right knee, 
and then I switch. I lift up my left knee. I didn't even cross this over my body because I didn't feel like I really needed it. And plus, it's prenatal friendly. Arms all the way up. And then roll it back. Prenatal people, you can just go ahead and take it down to your forearms behind you here instead of coming all the way down to your back. Reach all the way up again. Inhaling, extend the spine. And then grab the back of your head and then pull your elbows in to stretch the back of your neck. Deep breath. Let's slowly make our way down to our, make it down to your back, knees into your chest. And then from here, open up your knees wide, bring your hands, your arms into the inside of your knees and wrap your hands around your shins. So you're opening up your inner thighs here. So your wrists and your arms on the inside of your legs and then you wrap your hands to the outside of your knee and shin supporting your legs so that you can stretch out your inner thighs. Now this is what felt good for me this morning, so I went ahead and stretched out the inner thighs. I wanted to see how I felt in a little happy baby, and it actually felt a little too intense, so I just went right back to that inner thigh. That felt more appropriate for me this morning. But hey, if you go into a happy baby and that feels really good, you can totally do a happy baby here. All right, drop that over to your right side for a little twist. Left leg over the right. You can see my low back is pretty tight here, so I'm not gonna force it all the way down. I'm just gonna let it kick it where it wants to kick it. And then I swing that over, pop it over to my left side. A little twist again. Let that knee, right knee fall over. Open up that low back a bit. Deep breath in. And exhale, bring it back, feet together, open up your knees wide. And then you see I take a little stretch here in the neck, I pulled my head off the floor and then I went ahead and let that go. Now I'm gonna hang out here for a couple moments. I'm just gonna let my inner thighs release and my low back let go and my belly sink into the floor. Breathing, breathing. Letting myself absorb, let go. I'm gonna support my inner thighs as I bring my knees in together, right? Because they were kind of stretched out just now. Then I'm gonna roll over into fetal pose, hang out here, and then roll over to the other side for fetal pose. I felt a couple pops when I did that, it was nice. A couple rolls here, and then slowly come back up to seated. All right, let's end in seated for a moment. Readjust, get into your sit bones, pull your shoulders back, stretch out your neck, take your head side to side, rock forward and back a little bit, and then find a seated position that's comfortable and hang out here for a moment. And on your breath here for one more moment or two, allowing yourself to breathe in deeply. Exhale. All right, hands to the prayer position. Let the heart take a bow. Thank you for moving with me. Sound y'all.